What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Techful Goodies, and today we're looking at a pretty cool portable dual monitor setup. So let's jump right in and take a look at it. This is the InnoView 15.6 inches folding portable dual monitor system right here. Now, the folks at InnoView sent this over for me to take a look at, try out, show you, review, and see if it's something that we feel is something that would be good. So a couple of uh, a couple of things that are nice about this is that it is a dual folding panel, which means it's two monitors together. They are both IPS panels and they are sRGB 120%. Which... So in the box, we have the monitors themselves. as well as some cables. Two cables here, two more cables, power plug, and a, another cable. So one of the things to note about all these sort of portable monitors that we take a look at, and I've mentioned this before, is that this is a USB-C monitor, but you can also use HDMI. Now, the thing with HDMI is it does not carry power. I've mentioned this multiple times. So if you are going to use HDMI from your laptop, you do have to provide power, and that's usually why they provide these extra cables. So let's take a look at the cables that they provide so you'll know what you'll be getting if you do pick something like this up. So first cable we get is a USB-C to a USB-A, and this is probably for carrying power to the machine itself. And then the other cable here is a USB-C to USB-C. Now the cool thing about this monitor from what I understand, and we'll test it out, is that you should only need one USB-C cable as opposed to the other monitors I've tried in the past. This one should only need one USB cable to power both monitors based on the spec of your laptop and how much power your laptop's able to provide to the device. If it doesn't work with one cable, I believe you can actually add the extra power through the USB-A cable here. Um, another cable that they provide here is another USB-C to USB-C cable. And again, they also do provide this little brick. Um, the reason that they provide this is that if you want to provide power from like a, a plug rather than from your computer, you can do that. If you're using HDMI or if you need extra power, you can use the power brick that they provide, which is actually super nice that they provide that. And the last cable obviously is an HDMI cable. Um, this is an HDMI, normal HDMI to a, I think, micro HDMI. This probably plugs into the monitor and this plugs into the output of your laptop or computer or whatever you decide to use. So let's take a look at the monitor itself. All right, so it is a nice, really sort of sturdy feeling metal. I don't know if that's plastic or metal. Could be plastic, I'm not sure. But either way, it feels really sturdy. And the cool thing about this is check it out. It is a dual monitor setup. So it comes with a little kickstand in the back here. And what you're able to do is basically set it up on your desk like this. And it's gonna block the view a little bit. And hopefully you can see this from the top down view. I always have a hard time with these monitors because I don't have a third camera to kind of show how this looks. But you can see you have the upper one here and the lower one here. And this is super awesome because it gives you sort of that two monitor setup in a sort of same area you might you have like a normal monitor. And the other thing that this does have, it has built-in gravity sensors. So in reality, what you can do is not only have it like this, but if you prefer to have vertical monitors, you can set it up like this. And then you'll have two separate vertical monitors from the top down view. You can see two separate vertical monitors. You may not even need to use the kickstand for that because if you bend it a little bit, it'll it'll sort of stand up like this. But we'll go ahead and set it up normally like standard sort of uh, landscape monitors. Okay, so let's take a look quickly at the ports that comes with this monitor and how it works. So if you look on the back here, one, two different USB-C inputs, and it has that HDMI mini input on the side here. And on the other side, it has the standard power button. It has a hookup for headphones, if you like something like that. And it also has a standard up and down for sort of menu stuff, I'm assuming, or volume. Um, but let's go ahead and set this up. And one thing that you need to note if you do pick this up, and one of the things I always try to do when I'm talking about these monitors or reviewing them, is that you will need to install some drivers. I believe what it says is that the drivers are pre-installed on the monitor itself, so it should automatically connect and then try to install the drivers. Uh, but let's go ahead and give that a try and see how it works. 
Okay, so I've plugged it in to my laptop. And what you'll see right off the bat is that you only get one monitor that lights up. And like I said, that's because you have to install the drivers. So what you'll see is a brand new sort of portable drive that shows up in your file manager in Windows. If you go to that and you go and double click the install program for the drivers, it'll go ahead and install the drivers. And that's really cool that it's built into the device itself here. It's kind of like a little storage device. Um, but what I'll do is go ahead and install this here. And that's basically installing the drivers to let Windows know that there's actually two monitors in one. What that does is it allows you to only have to use one cable for both monitors rather than two separate cables coming off. All right, and then when it's done, I'll have to restart. So it's restarting the computer now. And now, after I have restarted, you can see, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit so you can see from the top screen, you can see that now both monitors are working. So the drivers have basically told Windows how to deal with one cable and two different monitors. Now what you'll see on these two monitors is that the way I have it set up right now or the way it came set up is that the bottom one and my main laptop display will clone each other and then the top one is extended. So the cool thing is that when you go into Windows, and I'm not sure how to set this up on Mac, but when you go into Windows, you can see that one and two are cloned. I can come down and I can tell it to extend. And once I've clicked extend, you'll see that I have three monitors showing up now in my control panel. So the cool thing about, like I said, the cool thing about Windows is that you can go ahead and drag these around, okay? So I'll hit identify. And you can see that this is one, this is two, and this is three. So I want one to be kind of over here. I want two to be next to one and three to be above two. So this is the current way that I have it set up here. That way when I move and I wanna hit apply, you can see that now when I move my mouse from here over to here, that's the number two monitor. And then I can slide it up to the top here. And that's the number three monitor. Now that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm actually liking this a lot so far. Um, so what we've done, let's recap real quick, is that with one cord, we were able to hook up the, the, two, the two external monitors and then install the drivers, and then Windows will automatically adjust this and show it as three separate monitors. If you wanted to, you could clone or you can do whatever you want, um, but I would prefer to have three full monitors to do my work on. So let's go ahead and open up a browser here, drag it over to this one. So if I had a browser on there and I'll open up, let's say like a file manager, I'll go ahead and drag it over and up to this other one. And now I have three full different work areas that are perfect and ready for me to go. Now, the one thing I haven't tested yet is whether or not these will work in a vertical mode. And again, like I said, they have a built-in gravity monitor that, allow, that will let it know what orientation it's in. So let's give it a try. And you can't see it, of course, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll face it upward a little bit right here. You can see that now both monitors automatically switch to a portrait mode. And now I have a left monitor and a right monitor. In this case, you can see, and I'll lay it down here so you can hopefully see that without the glare from my light. So now it's like a book. So both monitors are set up specifically in a portrait mode if that's the way you wanna do, whether you wanna have your chat from Discord here and you wanna have a web browser here and you're playing games on your main monitor. Um, if you look back over here now, you can see that the, the way the monitors are set up are a little screwed up. So you would just come back into display settings and identify again, one, two, and three. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up where two is over on this side, one is here, and apply. And then as I drag something across over here, you can see it comes to that monitor and then over to the third monitor. That's awesome. I really love the fact that this has a built-in sensor. So when you change the orientation, it automatically changes what you're seeing on the screen. So I'll go ahead and set it back up in the horizontal orientation because that's primarily how I use it. One thing to always make sure you pay attention to though, before you purchase something like this, is what your laptop's capabilities are. Generally, you're gonna wanna make sure that your laptop has a, a power delivery output or a video signal output with USB-C. And that, and that way you can use it with just the one cable and the power will automatically come from that one cable like I have here. 
But if you don't have that, Again, you can use HDMI. So let's go ahead and try the HDMI out. I have that here on my laptop also. Okay, so I removed the USB-C cable. Set that aside. We'll grab the HDMI cable, okay? The full-size HDMI will go into the side of my machine. And then the mini or micro HDMI will go into the back of the monitors. So that's plugged in successfully. And obviously you'll see that there's no picture because there's no power coming to the monitors itself. We'll grab the USB-C cable to USB-A cable. We'll plug the USB-A into the side of the machine here or into the power brick that they provide. But since the monitor's right here, since the laptop's right here, we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll plug it into the bottom port to provide power. And then you can see that even through HDMI, without having a USB-C cable, we can power both monitors. So that's super powerful because it gives you a wide range of devices that you can use this on. So again, you can see that my two here are cloned. I would obviously come down and change it to extend. And once I do that, you can see that I have the two monitors again. At the risk of sounding redundant and identify one, two, and three. Oh, and this is one issue that I wanna show you how to fix where this is up, actually upside down. So one, two, and three. So we'll go ahead and stick three above two. And what you do is in the Windows display, you click on monitor three, scroll down, and you can change this to landscape flipped. And then this will be correct. So what it needs to do is Windows needs to understand how you're, these are positioned. Um, and set up. So it was upside down and I changed it to landscape flipped and now it's showing up correctly. I have monitor one, which I'm on here, monitor two over here and monitor three up on the top. This is an absolutely awesome system. I'm loving it right now. And when you're done using it, unplug the cables, fold it up. And because it is this sort of clamshell design, it's just about the size of a laptop, as you can see here, and both screens are protected. So when you toss this into a bag, uh, both screens are protected. You don't have to worry about them getting crushed. And um, I'm not sure the weight of this, I'd say it's probably the same weight as like a, a standard laptop because it is two monitors. But yeah, I would have to say this is an absolute winner. Everything that I've tried so far today and tested out is so easy to use, so easy to set up, um, so versatile too. So if you want, to look at something like this, you can check out the link in the description below. Again, thanks to InnoView for sending this over to let me try out, but this is a great product. And if this helped you out at all, toss me a like, hit subscribe, I'd love to see you back. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.